Welcome to another episode of Ask Us Anything. I'm Bordy Oliver Hazard Perry. I'm Georgia the Maine. And today, you asked us about watertight doors. So we're going to find out all about how watertight doors work and what they do for the safety and well-being of this ship. Let's check it out. How does a watertight door work? Well, this brings us to a lot of interesting questions. First, why do watertight doors exist? They exist to keep separate watertight compartments secure but they provide access to those watertight compartments for maintenance, for storage, and for general access. Just to be safe, let's talk a little bit about buoyancy again. Archimedes' principle states that the force exerted on an object in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. This force is called buoyant force. This is what keeps our ship afloat. Buoyant force pushes upward against the boat. Gravity exerts a downward force on the ship, which is determined by the object's mass or our ship's mass. So, if the force exerted downward on our ship by gravity is less than the buoyant force pushing upward, then our ship will float. That hydrostatic force acting vertically upon a boat equal to the weight of the water displaced by the vessel gives us that buoyancy. So why do we have multiple watertight compartments on a ship? The primary function of a watertight bulkhead or a separation of space on that ship is to divide the ship into a number of individual watertight compartments. If there were no watertight bulkhead and the ship was a single large space and if it were to sustain damage that could cause flooding, the entire ship might flood and sink. So these watertight compartments that are created help protect the ship's reserve buoyancy in case of damage to the ship by limiting the amount of space affected by flooding in order to keep the ship afloat in an emergency. So let's get back to our initial question. How does a watertight door work? In our watertight doors, well, first we have the door itself and we have a frame that it's mounted on with heavy duty hinges. Then we have a reinforced frame mounted on the actual door itself to strengthen the door so that it can take impacts of water from both directions. We also have a watertight gasket. That's a soft material that goes around the edge of the door and mounts it securely to the door so when that door closes against its frame it pushes that gasket against the knife edge and it compresses those two together and makes that watertight seal. And the way that it compresses it together of course connects back to our handle. Our handle is turned 90 degrees to open and close the door. As we turn the handle which is connected to the chain, the chain moves rotates all the dogs and the dogs slowly right up onto a pressure plate for each dog compressing that watertight gasket onto the knife edge, both securing the door and making a watertight seal. The idea of a watertight compartment goes all the way back to 1100 AD in China during the Song Dynasty. Song Chinese naval engineers came up with this idea by cutting up bamboo plants. In a bamboo plant, the stem is split into sections, and at the end of each section, there's a little plug device that lets in water, but it doesn't let it out. By using this model, they were able to make a large-scale version that would protect the ship. The Chinese ran with this idea, and it became prevalent in all of their naval engineering. Watertight compartments were frequently implemented in East Asia ships, and even implemented in the Mongolian dynasty maritime warships of Kublai Khan, The wide application of Chinese watertight compartments soon spread across East Asia and later to the Europeans through contacts with India and Arab merchants. So now that you've seen a little bit about how it works, let's take a look at how we've implemented some of our watertight doors. First we'll start with Jackson. Today I need to get into the lazarette. This is one of our places that we store supplies. It's also known as the smuggler's hole and it is closed with a Freeman spring-loaded watertight hatch. So once you open it, you start it, and then it's got hydraulic actuators that open it up all the way. This means that it's not really heavy to pick up because this weighs about 160 pounds of solid aluminum. Here's another watertight door that we have on our ship. This one's used between various compartments throughout the ship for ease of passage and for access. Alex, our ship's engineer, will tell you a little bit more about it. As you can see, the dog spray the pressure plates, which seals the knife edge to the gasket, creating the watertight seal. 
The last type we have are these emergency access hatches throughout the ship. They give each of our compartments an alternative path in an emergency in case we can't get out through a normal pathway. James, one of our deckhands, he's going to show you how this works. This is a watertight foam bar hatch. To open, lefty loosey righty tighty, up, lift this up, twist counterclockwise. As you can see, twists nice and easy. So thanks for joining us on another episode of Ask Us Anything. I hope you learned all about watertight doors and what they do for our ship. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos from the Oliver Hazard Perry.